I want to bring in Sky Barkley, coordinator with the United Cajun Navy and a medic with Here's Hope Ministries. Um, Sky, good morning to you. I believe the last time you and I spoke on the show, Russia had just invaded Ukraine uh, and you were there. So thank you for being with me once again. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much for the reminder. Yeah, I'm sorry if that brings back bad memories for you. Uh, you're, you, you, you know, you respond to uh, disaster sites around the world. Um, my team's telling me you just landed in Pageland, South Carolina. Describe ground conditions for you and, and what you've been able to take in so far. Well, I just, uh, I just got back to South Carolina where my home is uh, last night. Yeah. The situation on the ground, uh, especially up in the area of uh, Burnsville where my team is, is this. Um, the first responders in the area and the volunteers that came in around the country have managed to uh, push into the outlying, uh, most of the outlying communities uh, doing welfare checks and bringing food to those that need it. Um, now, because of the situation with the roads, this isn't a, you know, the mountains are not the floodplain. So the water didn't just come up, knock down the trees, uh, call for rescues, <clears throat> and then uh, force us to cut our way in. Instead, whole roads uh, have been devastated. And it's going to be months till people can kind of find a normal route in order to get food, uh, water, gasoline generators back to their homes. <clears throat> but we are allowing people to come into uh, distribution centers and uh, coordinate. Uh, we have coordinators there that are distributing food. And there's organizations coming from all over, churches, um, and just uh, folks, just random volunteers showing up mm -hmm. to help out. Yeah, I can't imagine uh, how long the road to recovery is going to actually look like here. Sky, I talked to a former Green Beret yesterday who says this is worse than any war zone he's ever been in. You're a Marine. Uh, would you agree with the magnitude of that statement? Uh, actually, yeah, I, was, I wanted to bring that up. Mm -hmm. um, eight years I was in Mosul in 2016 and 17 when ISIS was there. Uh, I've been in Ukraine and I've been in Syria all the way down uh, to Raqqa, uh, all over. And the thing is, is that in the last, I, I mean, the fact that so much damage it was done in a, such a short amount of time that whole rivers, um, their courses were altered, uh, is, is kind of intimidating to see what nature can do in just uh, 48 hours. Mm -hmm. Just a few seconds left, Sky. How can those of us from afar help out? What does United Cajun Navy need most in terms of resources? And what do these folks need the most? Oh, uh, volunteers uh, mm -hmm. to help distribute food in various locations, uh, gasoline um, funds. You can donate to United Cajun Navy or uh, any vetted organization. I know SP is out there and so many great folks uh, just doing the Lord's work. And please, please pray for the people that were affected by the storm. You don't have to tell me twice. Uh, Sky Barkley, thank you so much. Hope all of your loved ones are doing okay this morning. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Good talking to you again. You as well. And to help those impacted by Hurricane Helene, scan the QR code right here. It's on your screen uh, for a full list of resources. You can learn how to donate right here. Still, thanks for watching, everybody. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. Also, don't forget to click that red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.